A rope passing over a rough cylindrical beam supports the weight W. The force needed to hold the weight W in suspending motion has been shown to be F is equal to W e to the power of minus mu alpha, where mu is the coefficient of friction between the rope and the surface of the beam, and alpha is the angle of wrap in radians. Write an equation for the angle of wrap alpha in terms of F, W, and mu. Then, if mu is 0 0.085, what angle of wrap is needed for a force of 120 pounds to hold a weight of W equal to 200 pounds? Let's first have a look at the mechanics behind this system. If there was no friction, To have equilibrium, by which we mean there is no there would be no acceleration in the system, we would have F equal to W. But when there is friction, someone may use this force of friction to somehow add to the support for holding W. In fact, if the weight W, as shown in the picture tends to move downward, then there would be force of friction when there is contact between the rope and the cylinder. And this force of friction helps the force F to hold the weight W. In other words, F plus force of friction would then equal to W in equilibrium. It's called suspending motion equilibrium because the system is about to move and accelerate from its current position. As we can see from this equation and considering that the force of friction is positive, we can see that F, which is the force needed to hold the weight W, is less than W when we have this suspending motion equilibrium. Now, there are ways to calculate the amount of force F required to keep the weight W in suspending motion. And that has been shown to be W e to the power of minus mu alpha, where alpha is the angle of contact between the rope. So it would be, this is the contact, as you can see here between the rope and the cylinder, and alpha is this angle of contact, and mu is the coefficient of friction. As part one to this question, we would like to isolate alpha in terms of the rest of the variables. Now, we, l we treat the other variables as, par as parameters, and alpha as the unknown, and we try to isolate alpha. We can write the equation as w, e to the power of minus mu alpha is equal to F. To isolate alpha, I can first um, move W to the other side of the equation. If I divide both sides by W, I would have e to the power of minus mu alpha is equal to F over W. Now, you should look at F, W, and mu as parameters. Um, you can think of them as numbers, for example. <coughs> then on the right-hand side, you would have um, a number, and on the left-hand side, you would have e to the power of a number times the unknown, which is alpha. Now, how would you isolate alpha in this situation? We pay attention that this um, equation looks like this equation b to the power of a is equal to c. We remember that this can be written as a is equal to log c base b. In fact, this is the definition of log b base c. We say that a is log b base c if and only if b to the power of a is equal to c. 
we can always go from any of these equations to the other one. In this case, we can think of E as B and of mu alpha as A and of F over W as C. And if we follow the pattern, we would have A is equal to log of C base B. But we know that log base E is the same as ln. Therefore, we would have minus mu alpha is equal to ln of F divided by W. Now, to isolate alpha, we divide both sides by minus mu. And we get alpha is equal to minus 1 over mu ln of f over w. Now, let's plug in the values given in part 2 of this problem. Um, the values are <coughs> mu to be equal to 0 0.085 ln of f to be 120 pounds and then W to be 200. And if we simplify this, we would get 6 point, approximately 00971 radians, which is approximately equal to 344 degrees.